Welcome to Medica Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. So glad to be back with you again over the last few weeks. It was crazy as I was inundated in creating a university online teaching course about integrative health coaching and so I couldn't upload videos every two weeks. By the way, that course will be available in 2019 uh, on my website medicanova.net, so have a look out for it. Let's continue with our Discover series, Healthy Family and Soul Medicine, and how to heal urinary tract infections in girls and children. These very painful symptoms can be quite a scary scenario, especially in girls between three to six years of age, and in this video, I will share with you effective and natural therapeutic tools which work. But before we go into the detail, let's have a quick overview what a urinary tract infection is all about. Urinary tract infections are some of the most frequent clinical bacterial infections in women, accounting about 25% of all the infections. More than 50% of women will develop a UTI and symptoms in their lifetimes and because antibiotics are the most common conventional treatment here, the bacteria have become antibiotic resistant and recurrent infections are therefore quite common. For this reason, it's important to use home remedies for urinary tract infections, which have the ability to eradicate the bacteria once and for all and therefore reducing the risk of developing recurrent urinary tract infections. All this common suggestion, drink cranberry juice, get your grapefruit seed extract, oregano oil and so on, works great with women and adults. But what can you do with children? Here you need a very different healing approach different methods which are much more geared for children. Because if you give like half a teaspoon of um, a strong tasting grapefruit seed, you know, that extract um, teaspoon, they would just run the mile. So here's the video with simple but effective therapeutic tools. Do you know many girls present with symptoms identical to cystitis? but the urine culture yields no growth of bacteria. Often they do get courses of antibiotics prescribed, which do little to know how of the symptoms now. So what to do here? How do you know if your child has a urinary tract infection? Urinary tract infections are common in young children. The UTIs may go untreated, because the symptoms may not be obvious to the child or to the parents. Normal urine has no germs because it's full of salt and minerals, so it almost sterilizes it. However, bacteria can get into the urinary tract from two sources. It can be the skin around the rectum or the genitalia and the bloodstream from other parts of the body. So the bacteria may cause infections in any or all parts of the urinary, urinary tract. And that can be if it's in the urethra, it's urethritis. If it's in the bladder, it's cystitis. And if it's in the kidney, it's pyelonephritis. So the UTIs can also be common, of course, in babies, infants, young children. About 3% of girls and 1% of boys will have UTI by the age of 11 or 12 years old. The frequency of UTIs in girls, of course, is much higher than in boys. So what are the symptoms? Look out for fever, pain or burning during urination. Need to urinate more often or difficulty getting the urine out. Most of the time you see a strong urge or need to urinate wetting of the underwear or even the bedding by a child who actually knows how to use the bathroom. There can be vomiting, even refusal to eat. You will see often abdominal pain, 
side or back pains even because the kidneys are involved. The urine may be foul swelling, may be cloudy, can be bloody too. Of course, with all this symptomatology, your child may be very irritable, right? And, uh, you know, you think like it's an unexplained, uh, persistent crankiness of the infant, but really they're in pain. It can even affect, if it's chronic, a poor growth in an infant. There are a few other simple things you can do to help the urinary tract in, uh, infection in children and first and foremost of course offer them a lot of water to drink right that's really important here but I would also recommend adding the juice of a quarter of an organic lemon squeezed out or even a whole lemon if your child can take it in water the lemon soothes it and adds antibacterial vitamin C uh, to the whole situation and it also alkalizes the pH making the urinary tract less welcoming to bacterial invasion. Simple, but it works. To make it more palpable, I would say bring a little bit stevia in there as well. Vitamin C supplements, very important here. Again, another way to soothe the urinary tract infection and bring in probiotics. I would say Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus probiotics, uh, different uh, kinds of it. They usually come, you know, five to six different strains in one product. You will get that at your local health food store. They do have Acidophilus uh, for children as well as vitamin C. Um, there's enough research uh, you know, for us to know that the probiotics can shorten the duration of the attacks, so have a look out for it. But really what works is homeopathic remedies in combination with vitamin C and probiotics. They're easy to take, they don't taste funny, it's like a sweet little candy for the child and it has immediate effect. And here we'll share with you the top homeopathic remedies, which you will get hold of in your local health food store. Now, how to choose the right remedy? First of all, I want you to look out for the specific expression of the cystitis of your child. Right? Your child is unique, has a, a unique way how to express the symptoms. Then, you match that symptoms with the remedies description I will share with you in this video. Once you have the right match, it will work. I can guarantee you that. If you're in doubt, contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm happy to help you. The dosage plan, I would say with babies and infants, go and get the potency six. That's the number behind the name I will share with you. You can, as you will in the health food store, you only get six of 30, the potency. That's, you know, the potencies which are uh, offered over the counter. So it's very easy. So look out for number six or 30. Again, with babies and infants, potency six, one tablet three times a day for three to four days. Now with babies, they maybe not take the tablet, Put it in a tissue, fold it over, get a back of a teaspoon, crush it, you know, so it makes a little powder, wet your finger, put the powder on the uh, finger and rub it into the back of the gum or the mouth of your baby. And you know, sometimes they go like mm -hmm, and a little bit comes out, but most of it stays in. Toddlers and children, I would say potency 30, one tablet three times a day for, you know, maybe three, four days too. But if you're in doubt, contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm really happy to support you here. The first remedy is aconite. And here again, potency is six or 30. The symptoms here come on very suddenly, right? Without a warning. Often after fright or exposure to cold. Like Diving into icy water in a lake may bring on the cystitis. And this remedy is often useful when the child feels anxious before or during urination. 
can be a hot urine even, or the burning or spasmodic feeling in the outlet of the bladder, or before the urination. can be also helpful if there is retention of urine, that means the urine doesn't come out. Particular if the child has been exposed to chills and feels cold, or after a shaking experience. It's a perfect remedy for girls who are afraid to pee, as urination might have been painful in the past. Yet there's a terrible frequent urgency to go to the bathroom. So they could have had a urinary tract infection in the past, and they remember that it's painful. And so now they get really afraid to pee. They might not have a urinary tract infection, but they remember the pain. Right? And so they, they hold it. And of course, when they don't pee, then it gets worse. So aconite may be a good remedy to start off, particularly if there is no bacterial infection really to be detected, right? There was the test done, everything was done, but there's nothing there. Look out for aconite. If aconite doesn't work, let's say you've given it for three, four days and there's nothing, look out for the next remedy in line, it's borax. Now here, the remedy can be very helpful for cystitis with the pain in the urinary opening and aching in the bladder with a feeling that the urine is retained, similar to aconite. But here, the child will cry or shriek and is totally afraid to urinate because they know the pain is coming. Right? Similar to aconite, but way more into the crying and screaming now. It's often indicated in children who are very sensitive to noise, inclined also towards motion sickness. In babies, you also see a tendency for thrush. These are the white patches which are at the inside of the cheek and you can't wipe, wipe them off. Right? So it's like you look in the mouth and you see them sort of hanging there and you can't wipe them off. That's a thrush. So borax will actually take care of that as well, if that is the case. Now if you happen to have a little girl at home who is shy and highly emotional, changeable in nature, and they don't drink much. You have to actually remind them to drink. You know, that's not a good thing with urinary tract infections because you know you just foster them even more. And they're prone to cry, they're prone to evoke sympathy, you know, in you. Think about pulsatilla. Fantastic remedy here. The pain again is worse when urination is delayed and often after the urination. The symptoms are changeable and the urine tends to also spurt out more. Great remedy when your little girl was sitting, let's say, on a cold stone and feels a little bit abandoned, missing mom and dad, feeling alone or nobody loves me. It needs lots of attention and cuddles. I recently had a story of um, a patient, a mother who brought her girl, and this was a scenario, you know. She drove maybe an hour and a half with her in the car and she had to stop like 15 times during this, you know, journey because she felt like, oh my God, I have to go to the bathroom, oh my God, I have to go, and nothing came out. So I we gave the aconite, nothing happened, and then I cried a little bit more you know, what's going on here. And lo and behold, the mother started a new job. Um, the little girl felt sort of left behind. She had to stay after school in sort of an aftercare program. And it just didn't go down very well with the little girl. And the urinary tract infections came along. So once we started giving pulsatilla and we addressed the feeling of feeling left out, being abandoned, Boom. Cure. Right there and then. Right? So always look for the totality of the symptoms here. Right? If your child just also has an emotional story behind 
the physical symptoms, we want to look at that as well. Now, once we have a bacterial infection really present, the main remedy in homeopathy would be cantharis, cantharis 6 or 30. Fantastic remedy when we have a bacterial infection with burning pain that gets worse after emptying the bladder. Always think about cantharis. Pain is focused in the urethra rather than in the bladder. There can be itching, there can be a burning together in the urethra. Often the, by then the urine is quite hot, looks a bit cloudy and there's this constant but useless urging followed by just a few drops of urine. It's the typical women's cystitis scenario. But when the child is so frantic and can't think about anything but the pain and we have a bacterial infection, then go for cantharis. I would say cantharis six, three times a day, three to four days. Older children, you maybe want to do a 30, one tablet three times a day, maybe for two or three days. I think it will, um, you see results within two days, right away. I would say if you have a stinging pain where you have a hot urine and now it looks a bit milky, not just cloudy anymore, and you have a very strong offensive smell coming out, and there's very little urine each time the child goes to the bathroom, think of Apis, Apis 6 or 30. Also fantastic remedy here. But again, Cantharis and Apis are remedies where you have a bacterial infection. If your child or even teenager, you know, displays chronic urinary infections and also displays quite a suppressed anger, often rage. You see in children, they just like to take the toy and just throw it onto you, right? They're so angry. Anything just makes them pissed off, like the piss is burning. Think of the remedy Staphysagria. You can get that at the health food store too. It's a fantastic remedy and here it's no secret that our mental state affects, of course, our physical state. So if you have a child who is very angry, you know, feels very pissy all the time, uh, feels um, humiliated, feels uh, an indignation, feels somebody has abused them or has done really bad to them, but they keep it all inside, and have chronic urinary infections, Staphysagria is the remedy here. Of course, women, you know, have, it's a fantastic remedy for them too. I use it all the time. You don't see it, of course, in children so much, but here I would say teenagers would be really addressed here. I want to finish this video with the remedy Sarsaparilla. Um, difficult name, but you see it written on the video. It's useful for cystitis and often helps with symptoms where you're very unclear, right? The urine isn't cloudy, uh, there's no fever, the urination is not before or after, uh, the pain is not before and after urination, can be anything. So, and if other remedies are not effective, think of sarsaparilla. Frequent urging is felt with burning pain at the end of urination the urine passes when the child is standing up, right? But only dribbling occurs while sitting. So it sits on the toilet and nothing is happening. But when it stands up, suddenly the urine is flowing. There can be flakes or sediments and they're sometimes seen in the urine. Again, as already mentioned, if you're in doubt, contact me at health at medicanova.net. To stay updated with my ongoing videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share and like it with your friends and family, and also you have to press the bell so you get notified with ongoing videos. If you want to know more and learn about my work, have a look at my website medicanova.net at the online academy. You will find fantastic 
home study online courses in first aid homeopathy and quantum healing they come with a certificate of completion and if you're interested in a personal health consultation either for yourself or your children contact me at health at till next time much love Thank you.